Hi everyone, you're with Lucy from Art Shed Angel and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the alcohol inks and the new stays in place ink pads by Couture Creations to create these two cards, one on Yupo paper and one on watercolour paper. Now if you like my video please check the description for the products I've used and make sure that you subscribe. So let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I have cut some Yupo paper and I am going to stamp with the precision press which I have marked where my paper is just in case it comes up as I'm stamping it. Now I'm not really worried about the magnets holding it down in this case and I am stamping it in the stays in place rose gold and you can see here this is the image. So why I've done it in the rose gold is because the rose gold is kind of a flesh colour and I'm also now be going to use my applicator to color her face. So I'm not worried if that rubs some of the detail off because I just want to use it to color the background. So what we're doing here is having the stamped image to give us positioning for our colors because we are going to stamp over the top again. So just make sure you quite evenly color her face and the rose gold turns out to be the perfect color for a skin color. So now I've got that on there, I'm going to use some fluoro inks. I've got my um, lovely yellow fluoro ink and I'm gonna use some pink fluoro ink and I'm just doing tiny droplets where the flowers are using my little puffer and making sure that I just gently puff it so it spreads the ink around the area of the flowers. It's a little abstract but it looks really good on the finished product. So once we've done that just make sure you have enough of that colour. You can see here I'm just adding a little bit more to make sure that all the flowers are covered. So now I've done that, I'm going to use copper for her hair. And the, this is one of the metallic coppers and I love copper. So I think this one's a, a really great color to use. And I'm going to use a paintbrush just to make sure I've got that color all within her hair area. So the fun thing about this is that you can actually paint with your alcohol inks as well. And just make sure you brush your, you wash your brush out before changing colors. I think she'd be nice with blue eyes. So I'm just putting a little bit of blue in her eyes. Now for the background, I'm going to use incandescent, which is a clear with a glitter through it. And I'm also going to use a little bit of the amethyst. Now I'm doing the the two colors because I don't want the whole thing to be really dark so you can see here with my brush I'm pushing around the ink so it's a little bit lighter around the top but it has a beautiful glisten through it and here I'm just using some of that pink to do her lips now it's important now to dry it off so she's fully colored um, but we've lost a bit of our image because of the inks but now we're going to stamp her again. Now I'm going to stamp her with two colors because I want a little bit of a difference. So the first one I'm going to use now is the um, gunmetal gray and I've made sure that I've put my stamp or my piece of paper exactly in the right place. So here what I've done is I've just added a bit of alcohol blending solution to just juicy up that ink again. So keeping your stamp pad nice and moist, you can use more ink or you can al use alcohol blending solution. So now I'm going to stamp her and it will stamp in the perfect spot. And you can see here she has stamped beautifully. Now I really like the grey and sometimes I think I would just leave it at that stage but I'm thinking that I'd like some of it to be a little bit darker. So I decided to use the matte jet black ink as well and I'm not doing it everywhere so that it gets a little bit of a random look to it. So again making sure that my ink was in and my stamp was in exactly the right place and you can see there it's got like a nice texture to the black 
and you can see it a little bit more so she stands out. Now you can clean your stamps with the special alcohol ink cleaner from um, Couture Creations. Now this is the sticky backed Yupo paper from Couture Creations and I'm just cutting it out so that I can put it onto a card and create a finished card. But first what I'm going to do is decorate the background of a card and I'm going to use the new sentiment stamps from Couture Creations. So these are the small sentiment stamp set and I'm just putting a whole heap of the happy birthday words randomly across my stamping block just so that I've got uh, something on the background. So it's nice to sometimes put some words at an angle instead of making it all really, really regular. So just put whatever you've got space for. And I was going to add an extra one, but I think I'd like to just keep it as it is. So I've got those stamps all ready to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my alcohol inks and I'm using the glitter in fuchsia and the yellow in the fluoro inks. I love mixing up glitters and, fu and fluoros and even the metallics together. So you don't think that you need to use one or the other. So I'm just letting this ink move around a little bit I put some alcohol blending solution down first and I love how I'm getting this orange color when I have the fluoro and the the fuchsia together and um, there's nice glitter going through it too because the fuchsia has a lot of glitter and it also is really interesting because the um, fluoros are very matte inks so the little bit of glitter from the fuchsia plus the um, really matte from the um, Fleur ink works really nice together. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to use the bright gold alcohol ink stays in place ink pad and I'm going to stamp those words with that. Now if you start to use your ink pad and you think to yourself it's not quite wet enough you can add some of your alcohol reinker, alcohol ink reinker, and put that onto the pad and just squeeze it in a little bit and you've got an ink ready to use again. So I've just put a couple of drops there. Now you can also, like I said earlier, put a little bit of your alcohol blending solution onto it and just make sure you give it a little bit of a wipe with the um applicator and you can see here that I'm getting a nice gold image now. Now you don't have to do that every time it you know every now and then you'll do that because I did a bit of stamping yesterday with it. Now you can see here that I'm getting a nice gold print and it stamps differently on the metallics it, than it does on those really matte fluoros. So this makes a lovely background on your Yupo paper because it does dry perfectly fine and it does not smear once it's onto Yupo paper. So there I've got a background ready to put together with my image. So I'm going to stick her onto there and then I'm going to place that over on the top of a card and I have a very quick finished card without any real coloring at all she was very simple to make so this was a really fun project using the Yupo paper and the alcohol inks and the stays in place ink pads so now I'm going to create another one using watercolor paper and I do love using alcohol inks on just normal paper. Now I'm just using my applicator there. I've put some blending solution on it. And what I'm doing is putting alcohol inks on, and in the fluoro and the yellow and pink onto this paper. Now the paper starts to look quite dark, but it does dry a lot lighter. So as soon as the alcohol has actually evaporated, your paper goes back to really white and all you see is these beautiful colors that you've put on here. So I do really like that you can do backgrounds using that. Now I'm going to stamp this image using the precision press again and I'm stamping it this time on watercolour paper. Couture Creations has just come out with some great watercolour paper that you might need to like to look at. Now I'm using the matte black again. Now the great thing about this precision press is I just missed her eye a little bit when I was pressing down and I can just put it back down 
and look I've got a perfect image and I really do like how this ink pad um, gives us a nice clear crisp image especially on this watercolor paper so now I'm going to use some Tombow pens and I'm going to color this image I'm not coloring her with the alcohol inks you could actually use a brush with alcohol inks on them and do some coloring but it wouldn't blend as well on the watercolor paper so I'm just using some water a brush and some Tombow pens and I'm going through and just quickly coloring her So this time I'm going to you to stamp the background with my rose gold and I'm going to be using those sentiment stamps again that I used on the last one and this time I'm just going to use the rose gold now sometimes it helps just to put a little bit of that blending solution on and you can see it stamps really well then so we're just getting a nice rose gold stamp and this has got a little bit of glitter in it so it looks really really effective and it does stamp beautifully so now I'm just going to layer her and we have a finished card so this is a really great way to make some cards using your stays in place alcohol ink pads and I'm now also using the alcohol ink pad to do a little bit of a darker edge around this card so you're with Lucy from A Heart Shared Angel and if you like the cards please make sure you look in the description for the products that I've used and make sure you subscribe. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!